This video briefly demonstrates AppDynamics Application Intelligence Platform. You'll see how AppDynamics automatically detects and maps your applications, giving insight into your business transactions and code, so you can act quickly to resolve customer issues. Let's begin by looking at a custom dashboard. AppDynamics lets you tailor views so that you can quickly access performance data that is critical to you at a glance. You can set up and share dashboards for DevOps engineers in the trenches and for executives in the boardroom. This dashboard shows my overall application response time, the load on my app, and error load. But what I'm interested in is the spike in response time that occurred for my end users. AppDynamics makes it easy to track down the issues affecting these customers. AppDynamics shows data representing my end user experience. I can view metrics for customers who use my web application front end and for consumers of my mobile apps. AppDynamics breaks down user activity by geography so I can tell which problems are region specific versus issues affecting all users around the globe. This dashboard shows the activity for web applications. Circle size indicates the relative amount of traffic for a region. In this case, there's a lot of activity in California and less activity in Ireland. The red color for some regions indicates the slowest relative request time. Hover over a region to display statistics for that region. The trend graphs at the bottom of the dashboard dynamically display the number of page requests, the response time, and JavaScript errors. When my app slows down, AppDynamics takes browser snapshots for web applications, or for mobile apps, it captures the app's network request activity. It also takes periodic snapshots of normal activity. Summary data shows the snapshot time, the end user response time, the URL, the page AJAX or iframe request, the browser, and more. When I drill into the snapshot, I see a view of how much time the user's request spent in each phase of processing, from the first user response time to the page load. When AppDynamics correlates browser snapshots to server-side snapshots, I can click through to trace the activity server-side. Now let's have a look behind the scenes at your business application. In the application flow map on the application dashboard, AppDynamics lays out the infrastructure of your service-oriented application and displays a real-time view of the transaction flow. For this online store application, AppDynamics automatically detects and maps the JVMs, the CLRs, the PHP applications, and the Node.js applications. It detects message buses, databases, and web services. The segments linking the various tiers show the throughput and average response time. AppDynamics automatically detects the incoming requests as business transactions and traces the transactions as they flow throughout the various tiers of my application. The business transaction list displays the health, the average response time, the volume, and the throughput of the business transactions that execute in my application. It looks like View Cart Send Items has a 4 second response time, so I'm going to double click on it to display the transaction dashboard. The flow map shows an aggregated view of all instances of this transaction. AppDynamics also allows me to analyze individual transaction snapshots and diagnose the problematic ones from the Transaction Snapshots tab. The Transaction Snapshot tab shows executions of this business transaction. The orange circle alerts me that this execution was very slow, or over 20,000 milliseconds. So I'll double click to access the Transaction Snapshot dashboard. The Transaction Snapshot flow map shows me the timing between tiers for this one execution of the transaction. The flow map segments show the time that was spent between the various tiers. Here I see that the majority of the time, 99%, was spent in a JDBC exit call. It took about 20 seconds. To analyze the execution of the transaction as it enters the application frameworks, I'll drill down into the originating tier of the transaction, in this case, the e-commerce server. The call graph shows how the transaction executes within the e-commerce node. AppDynamics displays the full call stack with execution times and latency breakdown, making it easy to isolate root cause very quickly. In this example, the Create Order web service is taking about 50% of the time. Click the web service link to display more details. The exit call window shows the web service name and the operation name along with other details. Click to drill down into a call graph for the downstream call. 
App Dynamics maintains the context and displays the call stack of the inventory web service tier of a business transaction. The snapshot confirms that the time is spent in the JDBC exit call just like we saw in the flow map. Click the JDBC link to display more details. The JDBC exit call window shows that there's a SQL statement that's responsible for the lag and response time. Double click the call to drill down into App Dynamics for Databases and investigate further. App Dynamics for Databases offers a real time view into your database, including the top SQL statements and stored procedures. From here, you can drill down into execution plans and understand why things are slow. App Dynamics performs all these monitoring functions and more out of the box. It monitors your end user experience, discovers your tiers, exposes problematic code, and monitors your database to enable you to rapidly diagnose and correct customer issues. If you don't have App Dynamics, visit appdynamics.com to get started with a free trial today. Learn more at docs.appdynamics.com or take the self-paced training at education.appdynamics.com.